Introducing the Woody Rapid Cabin. With pre-assembled insulated log panels, you can go from this to this in a matter of days, not months. No special skills or tools required. No special lifting equipment is necessary. Perfect for the do-it-yourself or folks with ambitious family and friends who want to have some skin in the game. Start in your Woody Rapid Cabin. In this example, we will be building a 24 foot by 24 foot rapid cabin on a post pier foundation in a colder climate, thus the footing below grade. Get your floor deck ready to go, which can be wooden or concrete. You may opt for a full basement, crawl space, or stem wall, which will require a wooden floor deck. The footing depth below the ground will vary depending on geographic location and location building codes. The foundation is not included in the rapid cabin kit. We refer to the outside of the building perimeter as the footprint of the cabin. This is a 24 foot by 24 foot footprint. Here are the window and door sip panels, which are structural insulated panels. Everything is included, even insulated panel and the flashing. Setting the first woody log panel. This example is the south wall. Set any corner log panel and brace. The bottom of the lower panel will drop below the floor deck and attach to the floor deck. The lower piece of the Woody brand log siding is included to install at the conclusion of the installation. Once your first panel is set, install the load bearing splicing column to the extended panel sheeting. Brace this column so it is plumb. Fasten the extended sheeting to the splicing column. All sheeting fasteners should be placed 6 inches apart. 2 inch drywall screws or 8D coated nails work best. Once your first panel is set and the load bearing splicing column is in place, drop the upper woody log panel. The panels will mesh together on the outside. Once your first full height panel is set and the load bearing splicing column is fastened, install the adjacent bottom panel. In this example, the adjacent panel would be another full height log panel. Once your second full height panel is set, you are ready for the second load bearing splicing column which is fastened and braced plumbed. Once your second full height panel is set, you are ready for the third log bay. In this case, we are going to install a number 7R rapid cabin window, which is 41 inches wide and 59 and a half tall, used often in a great room. The window will be installed when the log panels are placed and secured. We are installing two number 7 windows side by side, fastening the panel or ears to the rim joist area and the vertical column. Set the next VC support post. Set the second window header panel. The next log panels will complete the side of the cabin outside wall. The last panel completes the first outside south wall. Standard size woody rapid cabins are available in four foot increments. The interior wall and room layout can be whatever you would like. Door locations can be in any bay window locations. Window size and window quantity can be located to enhance the room layout and outside views. With the windows and doors, everything is included, even the flashing. Now we are on to the west wall. The last panel completes the first floor of outside south wall. This is the gable end and the vertical column posts are pre-cut and full length to accept the gable end log wall panels. This design will withstand most wind load conditions required by building codes. Before we install the gable end log panels flashing is installed to protect the seam between the first floor log wall panels and the gable end panels. This design ensures long life and migrates water intrusion. Now we start the gable pre-built log panel. The last full log panel completes the first outside south wall. We use a short log panel next to keep the lifting weight down. The entire log south wall is completed. Windows and doors will go in when the entire log wall and rafter installation sequence is completed. Brace the gable end walls to be sure they are plumb. The east wall is complete and once the north and south gable end log panels have been placed, it is time when the interior timber rafters are installed. Install the log wall eave closure panels before each rafter positioning. 
The rafters are set in pairs and fastened to the eave closure panels. Brace from the gable end walls. The east wall is complete and once the north and south gable end log panels have been placed, it is time when the interior timber rafters are installed. The rafters are set in pairs. The east wall is complete. The gable log panels are installed, the timber rafter pairs are installed, and the eave closure log panels are in place. And the windows are installed in normal window installation procedures by nailing the window fin to the frame behind. Now the log overlay is installed over the top window fin with the top window flashing installed at this time. Now the vertical log overlay is installed over the RCVC vertical support column posts. All the RCVC log overlays are installed. Then can be fastened with screws from the inside through the RCVC log columns to prevent fasteners from showing on the outside. It is time for the knotty pine ceiling to be installed. This Woody Rapid Cabin model WRC66, which is 24 foot by 24 foot, is ready for interior finishing work. This is our Woody Classic, solid log cabin series. Can you tell the difference? This model is called the Camp Luxury, which was built in North Dakota. Here is the inside of a Rapid Cabin. 